Okay, so this is a little bonus video, or bonus, it's a little correction video, I guess we could say. So there will be another video coming out tomorrow. So you can see this is actually on Tuesday, this one's coming out, which is a little weird. If you're watching them live, oh, that is. Now, what I realized is I made maybe what we could call a little bit of a mistake with my extends here, and I shouldn't have done placeholders with extends. Um, they do work, and they are fine. But there's a couple of problems. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's say I take this container here and I actually put it in a media query. I'm gonna hit save on that. Um, and actually, let's just look at here and you'll see that I got an error. So uh, blah, 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 you may not extend an outer selector within a, me a media query is pretty much what it's saying. This can also happen I'm, it's actually letting me do it inside of my supports, but it's quite possible you get an error on that too. And I don't want to run into this problem. So this video is all about refractoring our code a little bit um, to make it a bit more maintainable. So I'm going to take my placeholders file here and actually let's just close that. Um, the other thing actually, just before I keep going is because I'm using them as extends, it is pumping this out at the top here. Um, and extends can also be really dangerous to use. I still think they're really cool and I like them, um, but I'm going to switch these over. So I'm going to, whoops, rename this file. So placeholders is going to become mixins. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn both of these into a mixin. Not very hard to do. I'm just going to do at mixin container. Um, the only thing is here I am going to make it so I can optionally choose both a width and a max width. So with this, um, what we can do is we can say that I have a, um, we're going to do a width and my width is going to be by default 90%. And we're also going to have a max width, whoops, sorry max width which will default to the 50m that we're already using but this lets me change it around so if i have oops i don't need the semicolon there so um if i save that and let's go back to about me and instead of saying at container i'm going to do include container and Let's just see. I just saved my file. Oh, I didn't update everything here. Um, is it this all that I want? Yep, this is going to get changed to mixins. So just to make sure that it is actually working, so that just recompiled my CSS. So if I come and I look, I can see that my container still is working. So there's a few advantages of doing it this way. One of them is that I can control these separately if I need to. So if I want a container, I want it to work exactly the same. I just maybe want to change my max width to something else. I could do container and then say on here, my max width uh, is, I don't know, we'll do 20 M just to make it really small so we can see a big difference. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save. And now when I get bigger, that's stopping at 20 M. Oh, guys, I need to change these. This should be, if I'm going to do that, I have to include it here too. Uh, width, copy, and this one will be my max width. Um, so now that should actually be working. So let's double, just double check. There we go. Now it's only 20M. That works more sense. Um, and then as it gets smaller, well, smaller it's maxing out at 20 m so if i come back to here and say i make that 40 now it's going and if i don't include it at all because i did put a default in there it's still going to work um, it's just going to stop at the 50 m that i wanted it originally to stop at okay and as i was mentioning uh, when i ran into that problem what we can also do with this is i can include it in media queries and other stuff so the same with my clear fix let's come and change this so this is going to be at mix in clear fix um, I'm not sure if I need anything in there. So we're just going to hit save on that. Uh, I just need to recompile my SAS. So I'm just going to save that one too. And of course, uh, here I'm getting an error that I'm trying to use a clear fix. 
line four of about me. So let's go find line four of about me. So this should be include. Save that, everything's compiling properly now. Um, and again, that clear fix is just for my fallback, my float fallback that I was using, but it should all be working just fine now. I don't think I need to have anything else. And again, this is just in case I only need to be using this inside of a media query. So this is gonna let that work without any issues. So just a nice quick video. I hope um, it makes a lot of sense. If you have any questions about any of this, just let me know, of course. And we're gonna be back on track tomorrow with a video. But until then, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.